All right, so I was praying on that um, other video, and I was like, okay, what do you want me to do now? And um, I felt like God was saying, okay, well, it's your channel, and you have people that need guidance, so make a video. So that's why I make these videos. In the state that I was in, I really could not reach out the way I have been doing. I've been... Um, Twitter, Instagram, feeling out uh, a lot of things that I was not able to do in the state I was in. So the whole point is to expand your capabilities. And one thing that I'm learning is people need a sanctuary. Whenever I um, get housing or I'm staying anywhere, I make sure that that room has God's presence in it. So I immediately get a Bible there or whatever I can do. And then I build on that. So I have the Bible, I have worship music playing. So it's my sanctuary. People that are going to work and things like that, chances are they have a car or earbuds. That's their sanctuary. And the scripture talks about the separation between the goats and the sheep. So I'm always looking for ways to impact both. And then I usually just jump right over the lukewarm because they're eventually going to turn into sheep. So that's not even really plus. I just don't. The lukewarm can go back and forth. So those to me are um, really ones I don't deal with too much, but I see not too much um, progress there. It, it's kind of like the lukewarm goes with whatever side favors what they want. And I've not, it's like, you have to pick a side. So um, <clears throat> the first thing, that people need to do is look at their lives and understand that you cannot learn forgiveness without being betrayed. And then what you need to do is really pray on this as far as the people that God wants in your life. A lot of people have snakes in their garden. And that's another thing that I've been trying to stress to people. <clears throat> you have to be taken care of and healthy before you can help other people. And people have been telling me this and I've gone to a Pentecostal chaplain and sat down. And I was like, look, I need to make sure God is speaking through you. First of all, I want to hear from God. The Pentecostal chaplain was like, yeah, I understand how you feel. Her words started slowing down and God's presence was um, in her office. So I felt comfortable with it and I listened. And I took that piece that I need to care for myself. Okay. But caring for myself is not caring for myself. Caring for others is caring for myself because we were built to have relationships but we have to have relationships with people that have the spirit of god in them so that we don't get misled we don't get taken advantage of and we don't get hurt and we've all been betrayed enough to where we can be like okay so to fight back on that we have to be willing to go in different directions where we're led and to um, stay centered on God's will. Too many people fear the unknown. And that's one of the uh, benefits of being homeless and things like that is you learn, okay, even at this level, God will provide for me. Even at this, God will come through for me. People will fail you. God won't. And I was praying on it and I was like, 
you know, what do you want me to do? And the spirit was like, well, basically, what you always do, seek my face, uh, seek my will, and then do what I tell you. <laughs> it's, it's never going to change. But I'm also learning existential thoughts, um, how psychologists view things, and the truth that lines up with scripture is the truth. It's always going to be that way. People can get lost in different thoughts and pulled in different directions, but it's based on their loyalty to God. So my purpose is to establish God's kingdom. I understand that. And the spirit was like, well, this is your channel. You don't have to pay for airtime. You don't have to jump through any hoops. No one's got authority over you except for the Holy Spirit. That's what you want. I was like, all right. So now I'm expanding with the Twitter and Instagram. And there's two classes of people right now. There's the ones that God is like, all right, go play. Like, this is your time to enjoy your promised land. Play. Basically, do whatever you want as long as you are within the guidelines of the scripture and you're trying to please God. Do what you want. And then there's... Another half that God is like, you still haven't done what I told you to do. Okay, that's not going to make you happy. All right, stop doing that. So that's basically where we're at on this. And um, that's all the spirit wanted me to tell you. I love you.